the, the most uh, useful thing I've gotten out of AI of late is that it can tell stories to my son. My son is having behavioral problems at school, and I can frame a story uh, at a first grade reading level around uh, characters that he likes, like Super Mario or Transformers, and I can uh, and I can have the story write a fable almost to tell him before bed. So it will like say that you know. Can I just this, say that I love that? Yeah. It's Dave Haft, and these are my gorilla recordings at Hot Docs Toronto. There's this documentary that's 80, it's 89 minutes long, and I think 75 minutes 75 is, minutes. is naked women. Okay, that's interesting. Daniel works in a banh mi sandwich shop in Chinatown. As a guy, like it actually helps to just like listen to what they're saying about how they've been treated by men. Wow. That actually really did an interesting topic, you know? Is that like, is that like a point of view of a woman or a Absolutely. man? Absolutely. Point of view is like exactly what it's, it's all about. But I feel it's a, it's a great topic. Before we hear more from Daniel, I wanted to share some experiences speaking with producers and also at the pitch forum. My favorite pitch was the one that had my favorite trailer. Mind you, I only saw about six pitches total of the 20. So this is basically my favorite trailer. And it's a film from Ukraine called Sanatorium. They've made a lot of progress done some initial development filming that is quite effective. I'm a guy that likes some good verite. They promise you'll meet characters in a retreat hotel slash wellness hospital. And I thought that was a refreshing look at life in Ukraine. I met a director from Ukraine who's recently come back from there, his sister, is still over there and it brought him to tears when we were speaking at one of the parties. I gave him a hug. I wanted to help him feel present among industry leaders and social situations with hundreds of people. I got the sense that one of the most important things for producers and deal makers when they were in town was to simply be together, talking, drinking, a producer I know in D.C., Dawn Langford, told me that during her dealmaker meetings, of which there were many, she got the signal that a lot of the buyers just aren't buying as much as she was used to. Back to Daniel at the Bon Mi shop. And like the audience, it might have been mostly women, but not by much. So I was glad to see, you know, yeah. To know that, you know, because usually I don't feel like men gonna choose to watch this type of movie. You know, they more prefer to watch like action movie or something like that. We're talking about Smoke Sauna Sisterhood from Estonia, which won the directing award at Sundance for international docs. You you were telling me about your grandparents earlier. Uh -huh. What would they say about it? About how we should treat our partner. Like, what did you learn from your family? Mm, I feel like, because uh, in my culture, um, you know, like in my country, it's actually one of the country that have the lowest rate of divorce. It's like 7%. Mm. Yeah, 7% until now. Mm. So like, man in Vietnam, when I was a kid, I had been taught to, you know, treat women really nice because that's how my father treats my mother when he make a lot of money he doesn't give my mom the feeling like I'm your boss and I feel that's what I learned from my parents and my grandmother and my grandparents too because like they've been together for like from the world until the end of their life mm. you know like 80 years together 
that's rare now today. Yeah, to be together eighty years, that's rare now. I mean, that's like what we could all wish for, really. Like for like a really good yeah, life, exactly. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, one fifteen in the morning. The film I just saw was about mental health. Joan Baez, I am noise. I'm sitting on the 14th floor on my bed overlooking Toronto. My host is snoring very loudly, poor guy, um, in the other room. Hey, how you doing? Cinema 7? Cinema 7, yep. I do. I just came from a screening of the Etilat Rose. I probably butchered that Afghani newspaper's name. It's an award-winning local newspaper in Kabul, known for transparent coverage of government corruption and Taliban killings. They cover the fall of Kabul from the inside. These journalists are heroes, and we follow them as they stick around as long as they possibly can. I'd say it's 95% verite, 5% text cards. Quite moving to see more for me, at least, having seen Retrograde by Matthew Heinemann on Disney+. Plus. Both films have the potential to help Americans to understand the situation over there in Afghanistan, especially around this time when we pulled out. Here's the sound of a pre-roll commercial before the film started. It's about RVing. Get out there and RV. A message from Canada.